Morning guys, welcome back to Humber Koi. So today we've got something a little bit different in store. We're going to do a product review on food. Two different foods that we're looking at. So we're currently using Queenie Koi's Japan Mix and we're going to have a go with Takazumi Mix. Big shout out to Skeggy for um, getting it to us in double quick time and a really decent price. Now, there's a lot of people that say Takizumi is the best food they've ever used and there's other people that say it produced a lot of waste. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna stick the GoPro in the pond after one week of Japan mix. I haven't brushed it, I haven't done anything. It was hoovered out last weekend when me and Leo did the last video. So it's the best it can be. Now this week I haven't thrown any mealworms, no nothing in there, just to get a gauge of what it's like. We're going to do the same next weekend, so it's a fair, it's a fair review. So I will flip over to the GoPro and we'll have a look at what it's like inside. So this is just a video clip after one week of feeding on the Jap mix from Queenie Koi to show you how much waste is on the bottom of the pond that hadn't been picked up by the bottom drain. As you can see, there is a fair amount in places where the um, the bottom drain's not sucking it in. So I wanted it to be a fair and honest review of that. Fish are getting a bit more tamer, like they're um, not swimming away from the GoPro when it was put in now. The Japan mix is 38% protein and the Takazumi is 40%. So both very close. So this is still one week, no clean. A lot, of a lot of muck on the ledge, but that's looking all right. A lot better than it used to. So, see you next Saturday for the follow up on this Takazumi review. So, this is after hoovering the pond and giving it a sweep just so we can see the bottom to see how clean we've managed to get it uh, in order to us to swap the food from the Japan mix to the Takazuma mix. So after this, we will cut back in a week and we'll have a look on how much waste is in the pond then. That is the pond maintenance near enough done for the week. It's topping it back up. But look what we have here in the tree but next to the pond. Little baby doves. So this is where we bought our Takazumi mix from. We got it from Skegness Pond Supplies. It was the cheapest online that we could find it at £89.99 for a 10 kg sack, and that is a four and a half milli pellet. That works out at £8.90 a kg. We did go halves with Grandpa on this, so we both ended up with five kg each and got it for a good price. So this is the food we previously used, the Queenie Koi Japan Mix. It comes in a slightly larger bag, 15kg bag, and it is cheaper. This is £72, 15kg. I previously had a 3ml pellet. Works out £4.80 a kg is cheaper. So this is one week after feeding Takazumi Mix. Now we did increase the feed rate because we had some cracking temperatures over in the Humber. So we had 25 grams of food going in prior to this and now we are up to 45. I've been doing every other day water test to make sure it's fine with the increase. And I don't think there's as much waste on the bottom of the pond 
as there was on the Japan mix. So we're going to give this a longer term trial than what we had. It gets good recommendations for growth and colour. So we'll get back to you in a month or so with an update on it. That's a wrap for this week's video. We're quite happy with the Takazumi and we're going to give it a long term trial. Thank you Skeggy for hooking us up with the Takazumi and upcoming videos will be helping my grandpa build the pond or his pond and there'll be a digger coming. So, like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, it's free. See you all in See the next See you soon. Time.